Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, men, women, and children of all ages. How is it going guys? What is up? Um, I wanted to point out really quick that this is a gameplay second half of Blitz on Warhawk. And I'm using the FAD and I thought this was a pretty clutch gameplay. As you can see right now, it's a low scoring affair. And I think I did pretty well in the second half and drove my team to a big old W. So, um, the, the I wanted to start off this video by saying thank you guys for all the support, I got so much support, so many comments on that last episode, my very first episode actually, of School Stories, and I think that's really cool that you guys enjoyed the series, because I really enjoyed making it, reminiscing, and so you guys could definitely expect more of that series from me, I want to make entertaining videos for you guys, and if that's something you guys find entertaining, you can definitely expect a lot more of those in the near future. So... The main point of this video, however, is not going to be that. It is going to be Star Wars Battlefront, one of the main things on my channel now. It's not really anything Star Wars Battlefront news. I don't really have a lot of Star Wars Battlefront news to share because not a lot of news has come out since E3 and since little tidbits of other things. So, um, I have a whole list of things that I can talk about. I've been making this list for a little while. I have a notebook upstairs that still has even more ideas for commentaries. On this topic but I think we're just gonna pick a few off of this list that I have in front of me and we're gonna talk about those and these are all things that I came up with myself very few of them actually there's like one or two that like bounced off of other people's ideas but I put my own spin on them and definitely tried to make them my own so the first thing um, I saw a video yesterday of cyber Ace gaming and um, Star Wars HQ I think it is and they were talking about game modes, and that got me thinking about game modes, and some game modes that I would like to see in this new Star Wars Battlefront. So, they were talking about, like, Conquest and the Air to Ground feature, and there has to be some penalty of if you lose, like, one of your brigs or one of your starships. So, I think a good penalty for that would be, like, if you have, like, certain starships up, like you had in the old Star Wars Battlefront 2, you had, like, your main Star Destroyer and then two frigates. Say one of your frigates gets destroyed, you lose a UAV. Say your other frigate gets destroyed, you lose some of your vehicles. Say your main starship gets destroyed, you lose all your reinforcements and you only have X amount of people left. You only have like 10 or 20 people left or the only you only have like as many people that are on the ground as there are right now left. That would be a really cool thing and I think that that, that would work and that would be a way of balancing the air and ground combat. That's kind of one of the only ways that you can balance those air and ground combats and I think that's a very good idea. Um... Now, another game mode I wanted to talk about, this would be really, really cool. So, we had the heroes in Battlefront 2. So, here's an idea. We have heroes versus, like, clones or droids or whatever. Whatever it may be. But, it's like a reverse infected. We're say it's like 15 to 20 clones versus, like, one or two heroes. And those clones do have some way of spawning in closer to the heroes. And the objective is for the clones to kill the heroes. Maybe, like, an Order 66 type game mode. I think that would be a really cool thing. And it's just it's just an awesome idea, and I'd love it if they had it. That would be really cool, like a reverse infected. And maybe, like, the person that does wind up killing said hero, they become the hero next. And it just becomes a whole system of points and everything. And I think that's a really good idea. And then uh, another thing that they were talking about was Galactic Conquest and how that's going to work with, like, maybe you have a team for Galactic Conquest. What I think would be a great thing, and I think this was talked about a little bit, but I'm going to go a little bit more in depth into it is um an app like you have the battlefield app i haven't used the battlefield 4 app yet i'm assuming it's like a commander mode from what i've heard about it it's like a commander mode and so what i'm thinking for battlefront is you have the app and in the app you're the one that makes the decision the one person that has the app like there's two spots in the game one on each team for the person with the app and that person commands the army so that person that's commanding the army they get to decide what units to buy what um, places to invade, but they can also talk to the team. They can get teams' opinions on it too. They can get teams' opinions on what the teams want, or like individuals can unlock. Like, let's say I want to unlock like the marine class, and someone else wants to unlock the sharpshooter class. I can unlock the marine class. He can unlock the sharpshooter class, and I can spawn as marines. He can spawn as sharpshooters, but not vice versa. That would be an interesting thing too. But going back to the app, that person could be like up in the air, commanding the whole battle. They could be sit. They could like highlight an objective and be like go here um say someone like like there's the spotting system in battlefield say someone spots someone 
it shows up on that on the app in the map and like the the person who's controlling everything the commander they can highlight that person and say beware like over here there's someone camping over here or there's a sniper up on this ledge or they can say like take this route so you can avoid this person over here they can just guide the whole thing from up above and I, that actually does seem like something that would happen in star wars like the overseers get to like do it and like Maybe that person that's the commander is in the starship. Maybe they can be killed at some point during the battle, and you lose that advantage of the overseer. You lose that advantage of someone who's, like, watching the entire battle unfold. That would be a really cool idea, I think. Let me know what you guys think about those ideas. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you guys later.